Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is Snack Crate Day. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but it's Snack Crate Day. So, without further ado, come unbox with me. So, I have noticed that Snack Crate is kind of ruining the surprise of where the boxes come from. So on the front, which I'm not going to show you because it's got my address on it, it says Bonjour Leslie. And so I, I never really looked at the other crates, but apparently they give you a little like phrase. And so it kind of ruins the surprise, but it's not a great day. It's always a good day because snacks. Okay. Where? So, since we have got this fun one from France, I'm really excited. Okay. Jesus. So, France. And they have sent some, some stickers. It, it, this one is so cute. It's a croissant, like a muscle man. It's really cute. Okay. So the first thing is poulet roti, which is chicken and potato potato chips. I think, right? Chicken, chicken and potatoes? I think that's what that is. And again, with the crinkling, I'm sorry. Alright. You guys. This smells exactly like roasted chicken. Interesting. All right. Okay, okay, time out. I've had the special flavors here in the US and they're good, but these are like next level good. So let's see if we can find them on here. Crunchy and savory potato chips flavored with delicious taste of roasted chicken. And they're really good. <laughs> really good. Okay, so it looks like... By the way, this box is like super heavy. I think it's like the heaviest snack crate that I've gotten. So we have this called Twin Nuts bacon flavor. So let's see what these are. See this is why I opened the thing because I can't. Let's let's try them before I read what it is because that's more fun. Okay so I have a feeling because they smell like peanuts. And they look like this. So I'm assuming they're gonna be bacon flavored peanuts. Okay. I am conflicted, kind of confused. I mean, I love peanuts and I love bacon. back to those too. but ooh, that's what they they taste like sunflower seeds they these peanuts and whatever they're covered in taste like a sunflower seed that really salty anyway let's read savory peanuts coasted in a coasted <laughs> savory peanuts coated in a crunchy biscuit shell flavored with delicious bacon these are seriously addictive they're pretty good all right, this also might be the source of the weight. These are Haribo Orangina. Ooh, I love Orangina so much. Okay, so this is what the outside looks like. And that's, I wonder if they really taste like Orangina. Um, for those of you who don't know, like Orangina is a 
it's like carbonated orange juice and it is so good you used to be able to get it in like the international aisle at um kroger but they i haven't seen it in a really long time okay so these are gummies mm. oh my goodness they taste exactly like orangina they are very very hard to chew we got a little bit of sour. Okay. Delicious chewy gummies flavored with the zesty orange flavor of Orangina soda. Soda. And I agree. They're very good. Orangina, if you ever get the chance to try it, I recommend it. Next thing. Oh, and in the last, in my Hawaii one, you know those little pretz sticks that I was talking about? My mother-in-law reminded me pocky that's what i was talking about and that's what this looks like um it's called Mikado. looks like this and these are ones that i was talking about like sometimes they're dipped in chocolate and all that jazz so thanks mama maxwell i appreciate that and these are these look just like pocky sticks if i can get one out Mm-hmm. Mm Whenever you go to your their chocolate is so much better. It it just tastes more rich and less what's the word I'm looking for? Artificial. They're so good. Crunchy biscuit sticks dipped in pieces of caramel and milk chocolate. Perfect paired with a cup of ole, which is milk. I got coffee. So But I don't get the caramel. I pretty much just get chocolate. I don't taste it because you all know. I don't like caramel. Caramel, caramel, however you say it. I don't like it. So I don't taste it in the sticks. But they're very good. Okay, so this is a candy bar from Nestle. Sunday. Not Sunday. Sunday. So let's give this a little, a little tasty. Taste a Rudy. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It looks like a granola bar. And I wonder if that's what it tastes like. Let's let's find out. Oh, oh, quite good. It just tastes like a granola bar. But that chocolate. It's so good. I don't know why I expected it to be soft, like one of those chewy, the chewy granola bars that you get the grocery um but I will say it's very delicious let's see what it says on here this unique treat is made with crunchy cornflakes formed into a bar and dipped in dark chocolate the chocolate again now I have two chocolate things and it looks like I'm gonna have something else chocolate this is also from Nestle it's just called nuts If I can get this open, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, to me this looks like a Snickers bar, but I'm assuming that there's nuts in there. Just, just a hunch. I can't tell what kind of, I don't know if they're peanuts, almonds maybe? Got this like nougat on the inside with I don't know I gotta look and see what kind of nuts these are do, 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 do. milk chocolate candy bar with a filling hazelnuts but on the outside it looks like a Snickers bar it's got um, this nougaty center and this actually does have caramel in it and I like it I see these little colorful fun things and they kind of look like crayons, 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 and I don't know what they are. Let's see what they are. Crumb bar, 
atomic. And I'm going, it kind of, oh, I think it's taffy. <laughs> okay. It tastes good. Hold on, it gives me shivers. They're very sour. At least that one is. But. It tastes very good. It is like taffy. And I'm guessing that what's in the middle of that is citric acid. Which is what gives things sourness. Carambar Atomic. These colorful chewy candies feature a mix of fruity and sour flavors in every bite. They are very fruity and they are very sour. Okay, we got a couple more things in here. Oh no, we have a lot more things in here. I thought there was only a few left. I can't pronounce on here. La Madeleine Derm. And they look, I'm going to open it. They look kind of strange. Kind of reminds me of a Danish. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? They're very, very soft. Very, very soft. Mm. Kind of looks like cornbread. Doesn't smell like cornbread. It smells very, I'm getting this all over the place. It smells like, uh, cookies. What are they? Sugar cookies. All right. It's a very interesting flavor. It's good. I think this is the first snack rate that so far I like everything. But it's It has like the feeling of cornbread on the outside. Like, that's what it looks like, but it's very sweet. I don't know, let's find out what that is because it's good, it's real good. The name Madeleine was given to these sweets and buttery cakes by King Louis the 15th in honor of Royal Chef Madeleine. Pommier. That tells me nothing. You all know. If you all know what these are and you can tell me other than a biscuit cake, leave it in the comments down below. I would appreciate it because they're good, they're spongy, and I would recommend them. Okay, these are called Tetez Brulees. I'm kind of scared by how they look. Are they going to be spicy or are they going to be sour? Let's find out. I told you all this last time. Or was it last time? Oh yeah, it was the Hawaiian box. I'm not good with spicy foods. Okay, it smells fruity. And it also is like a, a taffy kind of situation. Oh! Oh! Uh, you know, like when you eat really sour things and you get that clench in the back? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Sour's over. So this tastes like a strawberry. Um, but I can't confirm because they don't speak French. Okay. Anyway, let's read what these are. These hot-headed candies are coated with intense sour flavor, but reveal a sweet inside. Can you take the heat? So if you get these, beware. They're really sour. They're good. Oh, have you ever had something so sour? It gives you chills. That's what I'm like. My mouth is watering. That is so sour. Okay. So I got this one that seems to oh, be strawberry. And I'm assuming that this is going to be green apple. So I'm going to take it a little 
taste or of the green apple. Normally things like green apple or blue raspberry are more sour. God, I'm, I'm like drooling over here. Sorry. I'm just taking a little corner. Hmm. Actually, the strawberry, strawberry one it was real sour. This one, you get a little bit of sour, but it's more sweet. So, green apple one doesn't do as much damage in the in the jaw area. So that's good. The last thing, you guys. The last thing. This is Petit Collier. So let's open this up. Ooh. Ooh, it's got chocolate. So it's like a graham cracker kind of bottom and the chocolate kind of top. This reminds me of like the, I'm in love with these cookies. They're called Biscoffs. Let's see if it tastes like that. Now, of course these are good because chocolate. But you can't really taste so much of the cookie. Let me see if I can pick off some of the chocolate. So that I can get like just cookie. Okay. It just tastes like a plain cookie. Like wafer cookie. But it has like this very buttery consistency. If you guys know what I mean. Recap. So first thing we tried were these uh, chicken, roasted chicken lays. These are very good. And, okay. Mmm. Mmm, what do we have? These, I think. These little things that are pocky. I don't taste the caramel. But they're very good. But who knows? Maybe I'll become a caramel lover. Doubtful. But anything's possible, right? Okay. Then we have these twin nuts. I'm just, uh uh. And those are really good. But they taste like sunflower seeds. And then we had the orange nut. These things are my favorite thing out of this whole box. Because orangina is the bomb. Someone told me. Okay, side tangent. Someone told me that you can get it at Liquor Barn. So I used to be able to get it at the grocery. I'm gonna have to go see if that's true or if someone's just like lying to me to get my hopes up. So apparently that's a thing. But these Orangina candies taste exactly like Orangina. So these are probably my favorite thing out of the whole box. And then we had the, the sundae. That's, um, and then we had the nuts bar, which was good. It, again, with the, I actually like the caramel in this, which is very surprising because normally I do not. And then what we have, I, I don't even know anymore. It's just mayhem in this box. We have this. I'm not club. Big fan. I feel like you're missing a lot of stuff. Oh. Had the crayon looking looking taffy. And <clears throat> it's it's really good. It's not anything really special out of this box. Like if you just put Laffy Taffy and put some citric acid in there, you'd have this. So it's nothing really special. Um like if you want sour Get the strawberry one of, of these Tetis Brulees. Those things, these things are, are sour and there's no coating. So I, I, I don't know how. Okay, so those, these are good. 
cookies. I mean, these are good because chocolate. That's my excuse for everything on why it's good. Because, you know, chocolate. Okay. So now that we're done with the box, it's time for some facts. <clears throat> okay. All distances in France from Paris are measured from a brass compass star, point zero. It is located in the pavement near the entrance of the Notre Dame Cathedral. All right, one more. A French woman was the world's oldest human. She le she she lived. She lived 122 years and 164 days. My dear goodness. Like. I, I know that people want to, like, live to an old age, but I mean, she outlived her entire family, unless her other family members were, like, you know, up in the, in the hundred tens with her, which I doubt, but that's crazy. 122 years? No, thank you. <laughs> I would never want to live that long, unless I was, like, you know, a vampire and had guaranteed like forever eternal life-ness but all right that's all I got for you all today if you're new here hi hello my name's Leslie I unbox things on this channel which I probably said should have said in the beginning but you know happens if you all would like to continue to see my content hit that subscribe button down below click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload. Which, I mean, come join the party. It's fun over here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a good day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!